Hello everyone. In this video, let us learn how to practice on single, double and concentric windings for AC motors, testing and assembly. At the end of this video, you will be able to dismantle the motor and collect the winding data, draw and develop the connections, prepare the step deformer and wind the concentric group of coils, lay out and connect the group coils, vary the winding and test the motor. Let us collect the tools, equipment and machinery required for this practical. Electrician toolkit, nylon hammer, soldering iron, cold chisel, multimeter, center punch, steel rule, hood rasp file, half round, tray, maker, DE spanner, outside micrometer, AC split phase motor, super enameled copper wire as required, millinex or triplex paper, empire sleeve, cotton tape, bamboo wedge as required, varnish, hair dry as required, PVC insulated copper wire. Rewind a single phase, split phase motor with concentric coil winding. Collect and record the machine data in tabulation. Remove the pulley by using a pulley puller. Remove the fan cover and then remove the cooling fan blade assembly. Mark both the end covers with distinguished markings using a center punch and correspondingly mark the body also. Mark and remove the connection leads from the terminal box. Enter the details in tabulation. Loosen the screw bolt or tie rod on both the end shield covers and also remove the centrifugal switch connections. Remove the rotor from the stator. Inspect the rotor for any defect and the bearing for its condition. If any of the rotor bar is open, correct the defect by brazing. If bearing is worn out, replace it with a new one. Take the possible data before removing the coil and record it in tabulation. Mark the stator for indicating connection lead side with respect to the terminal box. Apply a thinner in the connection lead side to loosen the varnish and locate the end connection. Draw the group connection diagram and also prepare the developed diagram in a separate sheet of paper and attach with these sheets. Information from collected data. Coil pitches, main winding 531, starting winding 53. Coil through, main winding 126, 225, 324, starting winding 126, 225. This is the whole coil connection as the end of the first coil is connected to the end of the second coil and the starting of the second coil is connected to the starting of third coil etc. Measure the overhang at both sides of the winding. Collect the possible data like number of slots, coil pitch, etc. Cut the coils except one set of coils each in the starting and main winding with the help of a cold chisel at the non-connection end that is normally load side. Strip the old winding from the straighter slot. If it is hard, use a blow lamp to heat the winding and pull out the coils. Remove the left out coils in their original shape. Use a thinner to loosen the coils. Once a thinner is used, never use the blow lamp as the coils will catch fire. Measure the size of the wire, size of the coil and collect other details as required and record them in tabulation. Rewind the motor. Set the core if it is mangled and clean the slots. Select the insulation paper of the same grade and thickness or equivalent as in the original and prepare the insulation paper to have the same shape and size as in the original insulation. Insulate the slot with the prepared insulation paper. Make a former or select a ready-made former according to the size of the original set of coils. Select the correct size of winding wire as in the original and wind the coil in the former taking care to maintain the same number of turns. Make the required number of main and starting winding coils. The running winding should be placed at the bottom of the slot. Then the starting winding should be placed at the top of them as per data taken. Insert the newly honed main winding coils into the stator slots, placing the winding in the same position as in the original. While placing the coil, take care to insert the turns in small bunches without forcing them too much. The winding wire should not rub the core. Avoid this by placing a leatheroid paper between the coils and the core. Wedge the slots permanently which are having single coil side only. 
Temporary wedges may be used in the other slots. Shape the coil within a nylon hammer at both sides. After placing all the main winding coils, check individual groups of the main winding for continuity and insulation resistance. Verify that the test results of the main winding are found correct. Then, place the starting winding in the designated slots as per the group connection and developed diagram. Identify wherever the slots contains two coil sides. Soon after inserting the bottom coil side, place the separator insulation paper over it. After the top coil side is inserted, fold the slot liners, place the separator and wedge the slots. Provide a face separator between the running and starting winding coils in the hoverang. Shape both of the sides of the hoverang as in the original with the help of a mallet or nylon hammer. Apply uniform mild blows. Avoid damage to the wires or insulation. Insert proper empire or PVC sleeves in the winding ends and connect all the coil ends and lead cables according to the connection diagram drawn earlier. Check the connection once again by comparing the group connection and developed diagram. Solder the end connection and put the sleeves in position. Set the overhang sides so as to have a uniform thickness and bind the thread or tape similar to the one in original. Test the winding. Check the winding for short circuit, open circuit and insulation resistance by a multimeter and mega respectively. Check the condition of the capacitor and centrifugal switch. If there is any fault, replace them by new ones. Connect the lead connections, capacitor and centrifugal switch according to the connection diagram and terminate them in the terminal box. Assemble the motor and then run the motor for 15 minutes. Observe the diagram rotation. If necessary, change the connections. If this is okay, then dismantle the motor. Preheat the stator and impregnate the winding with varnish. Remove the excess varnish in the face of the stator slots after drying. Reassemble the motor and test it on load for 8 hours. This concludes the exercise on how to practice on single, double and concentric windings for AZ motors, testing and assembling. Hope now you will be able to Dismantle the motor and collect the winding data Draw and develop the connections Prepare the step deformer and wind the concentric group of coils Lay out and connect the group coils Vary the winding and test the motor Thank you. See you in next exercise.